What is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? I ran cross country in high school. I would lead stretches, meaning that both the boys and girls teams were circled around me. A buddy came up and depanced me and grabbed too many layers. At least the girls team got the rear end and the guys got the front. I don't think I've ever been trucky embarrassed since. I was working at a skating rink as a DJ and used to throw on my skates to mingle with customers. One of my skate moves was to drop down into the splits and pull myself back up like this scene Michael Jackson's bad music video. One evening a regular rink rat child asked me to do the splits. I obliged him, dropped down into the splits position, however, this time I didn't come back. Fast forward to having my pants cut off by EMT and being given morphine on the skate floor while customers continued to skate before being taken to the hospital. I had dislocated my patella. The story doesn't stop there because the skating rink's GM stopped into the hospital to check on me and I found it slightly odd that he rotated awkwardly from across the open space in the room to around the bed, cutting through the medical machines, almost knocking them over, and cables to stand against the gap in the wall to talk to me by my head. Being doped up I did not realize at the time that my patient gown was thrown open and he saw all of my business. TLDR, I did the splits on purpose on roller skates and dislocated my kneecap, while on the clock, boss might have seen my junk. No idea if this is also the case in other countries, but here all shopping carts require a 50 cent or 1 euro coin to be put in for use. As a kid, whenever I would go shopping with my mom I would return straight or lost carts and keep the coin. One day I was with my mom at a huge hardware store. I saw a cart in the store, filled with all kinds of stuff. But my kid logic told me, oh it's probably from an employee restocking stuff. They wouldn't mind if I were to take it right? So here I am emptying that cart, planks, cans the whole lot. I return the cart, collect the 50 cents and go to the kid corner to watch some TV or something. Here comes an employee joined by a very displeased older lady. She starts screaming at me, borderline crying about how mean I am and anything. Then she walks away. I did not dare to go into that store for years after in fear of her or the employee recognizing me. I had the back canal buffet at Caesars on my last day in Vegas on one of my yearly trips. I was fine until I got on the plane. I had to shit so bad and it was going to be diarrhea. However, we were racing a storm so the flight attendants asked everyone to remain seated so we could leave. I begrudgingly agreed with my insides on fire. 25 minutes after sitting waiting to take off, they announced we'd have to taxi back and go from the opposite direction for a wind shift. It was another 30 minute delay. Then we finally get into the air and fly right into the storm. It was turbulent and would last another 10 minutes. The seatbelt sign was on but I couldn't ignore it anymore. Finally went to go s. I exploded as soon as I got in there. Everyone in the back of the plane could smell it when I opened the door. One guy even called me out on it. Oh well, my fault for eating oysters on a buffet. In 8th grade I had a teacher Mr. Jean. He was 6 feet 3 inches, had to be over 400 pounds, and had a lazy eye. Mr. Jean was known for having bottles and bottles of Febreze in his room. Whenever you would smell a student stinking he would stand up out of his chair, go from all to all sniffing kids and spraying a cloud of mist over the kid that thought he smelled fall. I have forgot to wear deodorant one day and I was lucky enough to be rained in the freshness. I was in high school and we had a prize giving ceremony during school assembly. My name gets unexpectedly called out, so I make my way to the front of the hall to collect my prize. I'm almost at the front when I have a sudden crisis of confidence and think that I must have misheard them and there's no way they called my name, so I turn around, walk back to my chair and sit back down. My friends are looking at me and ask me what the hell I'm doing and tell me to get back up there to collect my prize. So I get back up, walk all the way up to the front and then have another crisis of confidence and think that my friends must have been messing with me. So I turn around and walk back to my chair and sit back down. The hall is silent and the teachers are on stage looking at me like I just landed from another planet. My freshman year of college, on my 19th birthday, there was a fire in my dorm. I was in the shower when the alarm went off. Had to jump out and right then, a male RA runs and yelling that we need to evacuate immediately. I grabbed the closest towel I could find and barely covered myself up in time for him to look over. I then had to stand outside in nothing but a towel for over two hours while the fire was put out and the building was cleared. The fire was caused by some idiot microwaving tin foil. I couldn't call anyone to come get me because it was the first week of school and I hadn't made any friends who had a car yet. It was mildly frustrating. In fourth grade I wrote that I loved my crush in my notebook a few times and my see you next Tuesday of a teacher saw that and decided to read it to the class for no reason, just to embarrass me. FB. I still hate her to this day. She also once shamed my bad art skills by literally taking my artwork and the best artist in the class and saying this is how it should look and this is how. It shouldn't.
am 30 years old, and if I saw her today, I would punch her square in the face. I was waiting for a friend to arrive at my home. Said friend was having a severe cold, so when the doorbell rang, I ran to open the door and jokingly pulled my shirt up so it would cover my nose and mouth to prevent infection. I pulled a little too high. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how I opened the door to a baffled salesman with my boobs hanging out. He blushed. I blushed. We stared at each other for a second before I closed the door and hid in the darkest corner of my house. I got my period for the first time ever at 10 years old on school camp. No one had ever told me or educated me about it. I was scared and so embarrassed and was using Lou Roll to try and stop it from leaking everywhere. After a swim I, obviously, had bled all over my swimming shorts, the teacher came up to me and told me that I need to sort myself put because I was making the other girls uncomfortable. I didn't know how to sort myself out, thankfully two days into this nightmare a kind mother noticed what had happened and gave me some pads. But yeah, worst class camp ever I was so embarrassed. I started once at a swim meet. Someone tried to tell me that it was running down my legs but, not wanting to draw attention, we were in a group listening to the rules, I didn't hazard a look down. I simply crossed my legs standing and kept listening. I was called up by my coach, a male, and he told me it might be best if I sat this one out. I didn't understand why so, I went to the restroom to cry and discovered the offense. I quickly cleaned up and changed suits. Apparently in that short time, word had spread and some parents complained that it would be disgusting for me to swim, I had already informed them that I had a tampon in, and so, I was barred from the meet as a whole. I was also told that if I left the facility, I would be forced to leave the team. I left and my dad told the coach right off. I was in the sixth grade, they used to line us up after recess and dismiss each class at a time. I go, leaving a couple of girls in the other class giggling at something, so I was feeling confident. I'm walking up the stairs, looking slash smiling at them when my head hits the middle partition bar thing between the double doors. My head bounds back with a huge thud and the teacher's like oh one are you okay? I pick up my ego and went inside. I was at my best friend's birthday party, three years ago, ten people sitting around having a great time. I hadn't seen one friend for a year and she told me in front of all the people that I have gotten fat. It was really embarrassing, the whole room went quiet and everyone looked at me. I excused myself to use the restroom and heard my best friend telling her that she's tactless. She apologized that yeah I just wondered if something has happened. It still haunts me because she was also one of my best friends during high school and we had such a great time together. Even though it worked out great for me, started working out and have lost a lot of weight, it still left a big scar. Like was she just friends with me because I was skinny before? Say that privately, don't ever embarrass someone like she did. Haven't talked to her since that party and needless to say I don't even want to. When I was 26 or so, my brother and I planned to meet up with my dad at a high school basketball game once. Showed up, saw my dad in his familiar spot, standing along the railing, looking down on the court from above. Even when facing away, Dude's easy to pick out of a lineup on account of his signature olive green winter coat, faded blue jeans, and Air Monarchs. Thought I'd mess with him by going up and just standing uncomfortably close to his body until he noticed my presence. He gets locked into basketball so he didn't acknowledge me at first, so I got ever closer. He finally turned around. Wasn't my dad. I looked 15 feet to my left, where my dad and brother looked on, bemused, befuddled, and disappointed began apologizing profusely to the stranger I'd accosted but couldn't string words together well, so I just began pointing at him and then at my dad and then back. Graciously, the stranger in question acknowledged that he and my father were wearing the same dad uniform and he smiled and nodded his head in understanding, which only made things slightly less embarrassing. I wasn't very popular in high school, so I never really got invited to the big parties. Well, one day, my friend who was friends with the popular kids got invited to a party at one of their houses and he brought me. A lot of the people who I thought were stuck up turned out to be really nice and offered me free beer. So anyway, it's like an hour into this party and someone's dad owned a pizza joint in the town and had a bunch of pizzas delivered. I was hammered off of like three beers, so I chowed down. About another hour goes by and I had to shit really bad, so I told my friend we should leave soon. Unfortunately for me, he was trying to get laid, and his high school teens, I couldn't stop him, plus, he drove. So I tried to pinch it off for another hour or two, but I had a few more beers, this is before I knew what beer does to your stomach, and I needed to shit. Like, it was one of those ones where you can feel it almost poking out from any change in pressure in your bowels. So I went to the bathroom, and one person was in there, so I decided to wait. But it was some drunk chick throwing up, so a line started forming, and it was nothing but the hot chicks from school. Then it was my turn, but I couldn't look at everyone and be like never mind when I just waited 20 minutes to go. I finally got inside and took the craziest dump of all time. 
Like, it poked out of the water, easily 16 kuriks. I tried to put soap in the toilet and spray the air, but nothing helped. I left, and I could tell the girl that went in behind me instantly knew what happened. She made that disgusted face that you only make when you smell shit. Anyway, I find my buddy and basically drag him out of the party and we go home. He was pissed, saying I cock-blocked him, but he and that chick never did anything ever again, so I didn't feel too bad later on. And that's my most embarrassing story, or how I never got invited to another party in high school. 16. Hadn't lost the V-card yet, still pretty shy to make a move. Spring break Caribbean W friends one of whom I had a crush on. So we go back to the hotel just us two after being in the ocean. She's in her two-piece and we are spooning on the bed, was too chicken s to even kiss her, then I feel it coming. OF. 15%. Trying to think of anything to make it stop. 30%. Now she's getting an idea what's happening. Boom 100,000%. She just gets up and leaves. Obviously then it retreats and I'm there just replaying it over and over. God damn that was embarrassing. Junior year of high school, taking a math final, had been eating a steady diet of cheese sticks and protein bars all day so stomach was understandably disturbed. Squeaking farts out all class because this wasn't my first rodeo so I knew which were gonna be silent and which weren't. Or so I thought. 30 minutes in and I make the fatal error. On a hard plastic chair I let loose the loudest wettest far of my young adult life. It breaks the silence, and every single head turns. I can feel the heat coming off of my face like goddamn jet exhaust. My teacher just stands up and goes alright, and like a swarm of bees being dispersed all of the people in the room turn back to their tests. Finish the test and F book it. Dude I had the same exact thing happen to me except I was asleep so I didn't have control of my buttocks. We were taking our math final in high school so the room was dead quiet. I finished early so I put my head down and went to sleep. Well somehow my body decided to rip the meanest, loudest fart this side of the Mississippi and it F reverbed and amplified off of the cheap plastic school chair. I immediately and oh so quickly sat up, the entire class was looking at me. I farted myself awake. All I could do was turn around to the girl behind me and say sorry. I'm in pee and the idiot I am is farting. I got cocky cause the farts could not be heard and they didn't smell. But oh lord no, the universe wanted me to die. As I'm trying to fart more, the loudest fart comes out. The pee room has some great acoustic cause the shit was loud and clear. Everyone knew it was me because the noise came from my area, the middle of the room. To add to the embarrassment, the fart smut. I farted in a room full of 12 year olds, let's just say no kid talked to me the whole day and everyone was laughing at my poor ass. That is why I get for getting 2C with my farts. The moral of the story is don't fart in front of your classmates. Here's a fart story to laugh at though. My history teacher had a habit of wandering around and doing lord knows what before class. My class had been meeting with the principal about graduation and my teacher had disappeared into the void. We went back to class late and a few of my classmates decided to hide in a closet in the back of the room. It was full of junk and it wasn't big enough for all of us, so myself and a few others stayed at our desks. Teacher comes back and immediately figures out half the class is in a closet. He went back there and locked them in. They were stuck in there for half an hour with the gassiest person in the building, like one day he's gonna rip one and birds will fall out of the sky kind of bad. We were sitting out there shooting the breeze and laughing, and every few minutes we'd hear oh my god you. I've shared this story before, but when I was 8 years old we took a field trip to the field museum here in Chicago. During our lunch break I decided to wander off to the gift shop and see what they had. I had a huge crush on this girl main Victoria in my class and I saw this ladybug ring on sale for a couple of dollars. I knew she liked ladybugs and I had money my parents gave me to buy something at the shop, so I decided to buy the ring and give it to her. I was really nervous and kept waiting for the right time to do it. I eventually decided to just go for it and walked up to her near the end of the trip. She was with some of her friends which made me more nervous, but I finally found the courage to do it. She looked at the ring and laughed. Her friends joined her and she then tossed the ring in the trash. I was completely devastated and tried hard to hold back my tears. Even though I'm over it now, that completely fucked my confidence with girls for a long time. Looking back, I may have embarrassed her too giving it to her in front of her friends, which is why she reacted that way, but whatever the case, it's probably the most embarrassed I have been in my life. I was eight my brothers were five, we were at the hands of a frustrated single mom on a long car ride. I had to go bed. I told my mom, after like 3 hours in a car with 3 children fighting in the back, and she yelled, you're going to have to hold it, I am not pulling over. So, I accidentally crapped my pants. My brothers dissolved into furious laughing and my mom take a whiff and screams, did you just s your pants? 
To this day my brothers, who remember nothing from their childhood, regularly bring this up at pretty much every family gathering. They're 37 now. I basically relive this every Christmas. Merry Christmas to me. Can't wait for this year. Smiley face. It was the first time I got my period. I was embarrassed to have my period at the time, so I didn't tell my mom. By the way, I'm in the seventh grade. So I have no idea how to deal with it, right? I get up to go to school and put on my uniform. The pants were khaki, so basically right away I was doomed. I get to school, I'm in first period, and it's bleeding through as I'm sitting in a chair. I get up to turn my paper in, and people are staring at me with that face like, what the hell? So I sit down and my friend, who was thankfully in the class, goes, girl, you're leaking. I'm over here like, WTF do I look like, a faucet? Then she leans in closer to my ear and goes, you bled through your pants. I turn bright pink and I raise my hand and ask to go to the nurse. And if you thought this was bad, trust me, it gets worse. As I'm walking through the hallway, the class bell rings, so now everybody is walking throughout the hall and they can all see that my pants are bright red. Just to make it worse, some stupid annoying kid comes up and freaking screams, look, it's a baboon. Yeah. I couldn't live that nickname down for the rest of the year. I've told this story on Reddit before. Not sure if it was my most embarrassing, but certainly in the top 5. I was about 14, don't remember my exact age, although I could reverse engineer it. I had never kissed a girl, never really had a girlfriend. I was a gawky and introverted nerd living in a little town. Didn't have many friends, and wasn't all that crazy about most of the few I did have. I was the smartest kid in my class, but scrawny and unathletic. In the span of a few years, I had somehow gone from being one of the cool kids in my grade to being one of the people who were mostly ignored by the cool kids. I felt alone and isolated most of the time. My older brother gets married, and they have a major wedding reception at her parents' house in a town about 10 miles away from my hometown. Two bars, no one cares if kids are drinking. This house is an old mansion in a hip town in the Midwest, with about 20 rooms. I've had some drinks and am feeling good, when someone tells me that one of the bridesmaids has a little sister my age who thinks I'm cute. I eventually find her, it's a huge party, and we chat for a bit and hit it off. She's cute and seems bright and funny and nice. I have visions of having a real girlfriend for the first time. I feel like this could be a turning point in my life. I've met a cool girl, and she actually seems to like me. Between the alcohol buzz and the unexpected situation, I feel like a little kid who has come downstairs on Christmas morning and found everything he wants under the tree, plus a bunch of other great stuff he didn't even know existed. We roam off, holding hands, and find an empty room. We sit on a little couch and talk some more. Finally, I work up my nerve and I kiss a girl for the first time in my life and she pukes in my mouth and runs out of the room. What about you? Tell us your story in comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Right now!